Hey everybody! I am so excited to bring you this. I... What do I... This is the um, LOL Surprise OMG Fashion Doll. This is from Series 1. This is Neonlicious. Um, long story short, I've been... I ran into all four of these dolls when they first got released on the shelf, and they probably weren't even supposed to be released yet. Didn't have the money. I, wanted, I would have bought them all up right there and there. So I was like, you know what? I get paid tomorrow. I'll go back, grab them. Didn't find them. They sold out everywhere in the area, or they didn't have them. And I went online. There was a huge, huge wait for them. And then they were sold out, and there was no knowing whether they were going to come back in stock. But, uh, wait. And then I ended up going to Walmart, and they had one left, and uh, or one of the four left, and it was Neonlicious. So I, I went and made my order right away. And then within days, they were sold out again. So these are hot right now. And I'm, I'm from what I've seen so, uh, for some of the unboxings online, um, I don't blame anybody. I was actually a non-believer when I first saw um, or I first heard about them coming out. Because I like LOL dolls and everything. But I was just trying to figure out how they would translate into fashion dolls. And... Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and see after I finish the uh, two-minute blabbing. <laughs> so, uh, as we've been looking at while I was talking, um, the box is checkered. And there's two different types of blues. And then it, it changes into uh, black, so they're blocked. And then you can see the silhouette of Neonlicious in the front. It says, I'm a fashion doll. 20 surprises you get inside. Um, unbox fashions, dress me. Strap my stuff. Reusable dressing room. And this is for ages um, three and up. The box is very, very sturdy, guys. And then it says, hey, sis. So this is um, the small version of her for the LOL surprise dolls. And on the back here, you can just read that. Um, just a little bit of a saying there. And then it shows all the silhouettes from series one. You have Lady, Lady Diva, Swag, Neonlicious and Royal Bee. And then it also says, let's be friends, hashtag collect OMG on YouTube and on Instagram. And then there's her name again, Neonlicious. So let's figure out how we open this up. I think this is supposed to swing out. This is going to be hard for me. I wanted to get a tripod um, so that I could... I think this part might come off first, but let me just see here. Okay, so I guess you have to take this part off first, maybe, with some clear plastic. Alright, so I got the plastic off, and I guess we're supposed to start here by... Okay, so we take this... We slide this. Okay, I can do it with one hand. Slide this open here. Okay, so that uncovers her, and it says Neonlicious, Bright Lights, City li Wait, Bright Colors, City Lights, Selfie, or Didn't Happen. So there is her box art, which is absolutely cute. Always extra, never too much. Meow. Hmm. And then this part pulls up open here. And you have, um, unbox fashions. Whoa, what is all this cool stuff? Okay, yeah, I admit, I've seen this on YouTube already, but I haven't touched it in real life or seen it in real life, and it looks so different. And then this opens up here, and ooh, here is our doll, guys. Here is Neonlicious herself. Should we grab her out and check her out, or should we go after her fashions first? Let's make you guys wait. Let's make me wait. And we'll check out, we'll check out the fashion. So, let's see here. Is this part just coming out? Ah, cool. All right, this comes right out. So, she has... Our first thing I see right here is a little magazine type thing. Yeah, see it says Fashion Magazine. Fall 19. This is pretty cool. Uh, what's your star sign? And she is a Gemini. And it says, don't worry if things look a little gray. Bright skies are just around the corner. That's her little... fortune there for her sign. 
see. Are these all taped in or they come out the back? I think they all come out the back. I'm going to take all this stuff out and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I got all the accessories out of the clear box and I don't know what to start with. Um, I think these are our clothes. We're going to wait for last for those. We'll open this hat box first. This is a cool uh, neon green or neon yellow, I suppose. And it says um, LOL Surprise OMG on it. And it's got like a stripage uh, design in it. And it's supposed to be a hat box, I guess. Um, I don't know if she comes with a hat. She does. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this beret. And oh my gosh, the fabric. Okay, so I suppose the fabric, it kind of reminds me of a cotton sock in a way. And it almost looks like socks I would wear. <laughs> but um, uh, it's, yeah, it's gray with um, black spots. And it has a little ribbon on the top to top to make it, you know, that little pom-pom on the beret. And then she's got, ooh. These must be glued on, I'm not sure. They actually might actually be sewn in, but I'm not sure. So these are some cool little divots that go around the uh, top part of that beret. That is a cool beret. Pretty excited about that. That's the first thing we open, too. What's in here? Okay, we got a couple of things in here. We have a really awesome bright neon pink and neon yellow pair of sunglasses. Okay. We have these awesome white earrings that I want to say hoop earrings, but I guess they are cut. They're not they're not in a shape of hoops. They're like a diamond shape sort of or more like a I don't know. They're like a they're really cool. Okay. And then we have this cool bracelet, translucent neon orange. Is that it? I don't want to lose anything. Okay. And then these boxes are pretty well designed. You could use them again, I guess, for something. Okay, what else do we have here? We have a shoe box. And it says uh, white pleather. And they are, and she's a size six and a half. And it's solid plastic, guys. It's a neon hot pink. And then you can see the OMG symbol on the front. And we have some more cool paper. Even the wrapping paper, is, it's pretty cool. It stays on par with her design. I don't know if that's the same with the, um, with the other girls. And, yeah. These are some really high, like, wedged, chunky sneakers that remind me of something we would have worn in the late 90s early 2000s awesome guys and like the chunk part is a like a translucent no I say more like, like a pearlescent um, hot yellow and then they're white and you can see the details with the laces and stuff they're like white shoes so there's two obviously she's not gonna just wear one shoe <laughs> so those are really cute Let me put those aside Again, these boxes are pretty well, pretty nice. Okay. Put this here. And now we're on to these. These are clothes bags, and these are actually pretty, pretty cool. Um, I think it comes with a hanger underneath. I'm going to try and reveal this without... I don't know what kind of, like, material this is. Um, but I want to try and save these, because look at the cool design on it. You got the pink, you got the yellow, and then you got the white and uh, black kind of 3D looking cubes. I love it. So inside this bag that I was just bragging about um, is this really cool um, vinyl uh, dress with a top. And it's like a, more like a, a dungaree dress designed in vinyl. So it's pretty cool. And our next one... Um, on the same line as a the clothes bag is this other cool really 3D type design that's black and yellow. I really like that one a lot. And uh, the hanger is different color on this one I noticed. The other one was um, a pink hanger and this one is a transparent gray one. So I'm going to go ahead and get and look and see what's inside this bag. Oh wow guys. Alright so we have a black and white uh, checkered pleather jacket 
that's going to go on her. It has a mock zipper. It doesn't look like the zipper is going to actually zip. But it's it's got like a... Oh, it's really trendy. I don't even know what to say about it. I can't wait to get it on our girl. Okay, so the moment everybody and me have been has been waiting for, we're going to open up our box here and grab out our girl. See if there's any other surprises in there with her. Okay. Oh, it looks like we do have another surprise here. Should we grab that out and check that out first? I think so. Okay. Oh, on the inside, there's a picture of like a, I don't know, like some kind of doll purse hanging on a hanger, a hanging rack with a hanger and then a box underneath that says BB, BB Boutique. And the bag itself also says BB Boutique, so maybe this is like where she got this awesome purse from. Is that all that's in there? Okay. So the purse is open. Uh, it doesn't cl clisps, clasp shut, but um, you can put stuff in it. And look how cute this is. It's like a little blonde baby doll with sunglasses on, and it's got this... Um, really nice silver mock chain that you can put around the shoulder. So, wow. That is a lot of detail in a purse. Impressive. Impressive. So there we go on to our girl. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me, um, let me come right back. I'm going to um, unbox her off camera and we'll show you guys. Okay, guys. So here she is, unboxed right now. My first thoughts, okay. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so um, her hair is two-toned. We have a neon orange on one side and a neon pink on the other. It is crimped in its shoulder length, except for there's two little pieces in the front that come down longer to give it kind of like a different look here. Uh, her eyebrows are squiggly. I guess she, they even crimped her eyebrows uh, to match her hair. Um, they are done in pink. She has really, really huge baby doll eyes that are blue. Uh, she also, you can see that she has um, yellow eyeshadow that matches her outfit. She has, if you guys can see that close enough, she has stars for blush on her cheeks and really big, plump, hot pink lips that are shiny. Um, I wanted to actually see something if her head was really, really super squishy like the LOLs. It's it's got some ply to it, pliable to it, but not that type of squish. So I'm, I'm kind of glad. Um, her outfit is a neon yellow. It looks like okay, yeah okay. I wasn't sure if there wasn't something else underneath the outfit. Let me see. Okay, there's nothing underneath. I think she's just wearing a built-in underwear that's like a pearlescent, uh, yellowy, white. And then if you notice, she has two little dimples there, right on top of her butt. That's adorable. It's a unneeded, unnecessary detail, I guess. But uh, she's pretty short um, overall, I think. She's maybe maybe 10 or 9, nine and a half inches or something. I don't know what it says somewhere. I'll, I'll figure that out later. But uh, she has a trendy like workout outfit on, it seems like. Spandex matching top. It's got a turtleneck. And it has no sleeves, and then it has a little bit of a peeking thing right above the, the bust. And then she's got a cute belly button. It's a little bit more realistic of a belly button. Actually, it looks like she works out. <laughs> she's very muscular, guys. So, yeah, she has a very curvy, very super curvy body. Uh, the articulation's pretty good. Shoulder joint goes up and down and back and forth. Uh, we also have the elbow joint. That's... You know, that goes up and down and back and forth as well. She also has wrist joints. And if you her her um, hands are a little bit more of a pliable rubber than the plastic that her arms are made out of. It's kind of the same type of rubber as her head. If you look really, really close, it's really hard for, you guys, for me to show you that she does have long uh, nails that are painted, individually painted, a really light teal, like a neon blue, I guess, color. That is pretty awesome to me. And the mold is actually... It, the, the hand mold itself. If you look at the side... You can see that the nails are not only painted... 
but it indicates that she has long nails. They're not just painted onto the mold. They're molded there too. So that's awesome. That's really awesome. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Okay. She doesn't have any waist, uh, waist swivel, but I think at this, um, this size, it's unnecessary anyway. Her, her midsection is pretty, um, bust and pretty, um, thick. So her legs go back and forth and I think they spread out. So they do, uh, go back and forth a little bit. I can't tell if it's the pants that she's wearing that's restricting her, but they do. And then they have, she, she just has click knees, I think. Look at those cute toes, guys. They are in a point. Yeah, she has click knees. But uh, they do do they do go to a point for heels, but um, the toes themselves are individual toes. We haven't seen this since Barbie way back. Um, you definitely could paint these toes too. The toenails are very visible, so that's pretty cool. And uh, she she does have like a tan complexion, kind of like I don't know if she would be Latino or if she would just be a white girl that. Um, a Caucasian girl that probably went to the beach. Either way, she's got a nice uh, tan complexion. Also, what came inside besides her um, purse, uh, we have a neon transparent brush that's round and uh, yellow. And we also have a neon pink stand. I don't... I think... I'm not really sure how it goes together, but we'll figure that one out. Okay, guys, two things. Here she is, all dressed up in her outfit. Um, one one thing I want to note is off camera, I did discover that her hands actually pull out of the wrists pretty easy. I know it sounds barbaric, but they pull out pretty easy enough, but they're s still steady in there um, to be able to put tight squeeze on. Like, because her hands are so soft, they're a little bit hard to get through sleeves. So they did make them removable so that you could put, uh, easily put the clothing on. The other thing is I, I really do like these sunglasses a lot. I love the design, but I actually like her a lot better without her sunglasses because the sunglasses kind of cover her face and her look. So, um, yeah, she looks pretty spot on from the, her animation. They did a really good job animating the, bringing the animation to doll form or bringing the doll form to animation form. Whatever, however way they did that, um, they did a good job. Sometimes they don't actually look like the design on the box. So, um, do I love her? She's absolutely gorgeous. I have no complaints. She's different. Um, the big head on, uh, the LOL dolls actually seems to go well in the fashion line, um, element of her. Um, if you turn her this way, her head is very flat. It's a very flat face, but that's kind of the look to the LOL dolls. So they kind of kept it LOL-ish, but made them more grown up. So yeah, I, I do like that aspect about them. Um, other than that, um, I forgot to show you guys the inside of her, um, room here. I guess it says right here, is this just pull up or something? Hmm. Okay, so apparently the, um, the, the tape part was the part that just came out, and then you have an actual mirror there, so you can say hello, and, uh, yeah, and your girl can start her stuff in front of the mirror. And... Yeah, so if you like this video, go ahead, uh, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. So excited for this girl. Bye, guys.